guys welcome back to the channel you guys we are finally revealing this video to you guys after the long awaited wait i understand i am so sorry you guys know life has been life in we didn't had a whole baby over here so i'm finally getting around to um showing you guys our investment property project i'm so excited to show you the before and after it was a beauty at the end it was definitely you know our um baby that we took from start to finish on our own never having done this before so I'm super proud of the progress that we made and the end result. So here we are on May 24th, 2022, signing off and purchasing our very first investment property um, together. Now, shortly after this, we started our LLC company because this is something that we really want to do um, in the future a time and time again. But again, this was our first time and we really, really were excited and eager to get it started. This process was a long process, but it was very, very rewarding and most of all it was very educational for us because you guys we didn't know anything in the beginning we had to find our own contractors we had to you know um review estimates and determine what prices were good prices what prices were bad prices for different you know services and um, labor and stuff like that so you know we truly truly learned so much from this process okay and here we are with our amazing realtor, Vincent. You guys, Vincent has been with us since we purchased our very first townhome property together before we got married uh, back in 2012. And he has been our realtor through each property that we have sold and purchased together. So I'm really, really, um, really grateful to him for bringing this investment opportunity to us and, um, you know, holding our hand through this process. Okay, guys, so here it is. This is the investment property, you guys. Guys, I know it doesn't look like much now as you can see it needs a ton of work and I'd be lying if I said that this was not intimidating at first glance but I love this whole investment property makeover renovation design you know I love this life so much that I was up for the challenge and so was Ronnie but I understand looking at it at first glance it is definitely an eyesore all of the shrubs and everything is overgrown and the house just needs a lot of TLC you guys so we purchased this and then we got right to work we went to Home Depot we started changing the lots and we got the um all of the contractors and um servicemen in to give us estimates because that is where the process starts estimates and you guys, if I didn't previously mention it, we purchased this um, property for $215,000 on May 24th, 2022. So the clock started ticking for us May 24th, 2022. Okay, guys, and so I am now going to kind of give you a brief overview of everything that we had done inside the house and outside as far as the renovation is concerned. And then I'll kind of um, pop in all of the clips that I recorded throughout the whole process, vlog style, because I kind of talked you through those already. And then for the clips and the photos, still photos that I have, um, I'll pop in and kind of talk you through those, um, you know, during this video as well. So as far as the renovations, you guys, we spent about $100,000 in renovation and materials now we did purchase all of our own materials to kind of cut out the upcharge that the um, contractors would have charged us to purchase them from them so we purchased all of our materials ourselves. and some of the things we had done we had to replace the roof we had to replace the entire HVAC system AC and furnace we had all new appliances in the kitchen new granite countertops new flooring throughout the entire home um, new kitchen count cabinets as well um, we added a full bathroom in the basement we had um, two windows closed up and um, you know drywalled over and everything because I didn't see those as being necessary for the design uh, we also added new doors we added new windows we painted the interior and exterior of the entire house as well you guys as well as having landscaping and all that other stuff done and so now I'm going to pop in all of the videos and all of the clips that I recorded during the entire process. Now, this was about a three and a half month project for us um, from start to finish renovation wise. And so there is quite a bit of footage that I had to kind of thumb through. So just be patient and go through it. I kind of explain and walk you through what's being done in each video. And I also tell you the dates so you can kind of keep up with how long everything was taking. Okay guys, so this is the covered porch area before all of the items will be removed. 
but this is what it looks like of course all of those are windows covered by window treatments this used to be the window to the front of the house as you can see it's exposed brick there okay and then when you enter the actual home this is the entryway here there is a half bath here as you guys can see behind the door is nothing but you do see paneling so this would need to be drywalled and new floors it's a little dark in here because there's no light in this living area but again this is the window that used to be the front of the house there's also a large window here for the side of the house um and then over here there is just this feature wall which will probably drywall over that because this looks like a perfect spot for a tv and an entertainment um cabinet and here is the um, dining area space you can see there's some damage to the ceiling there and then this is the kitchen space um and so yeah um for the kitchen obviously it will be a complete gut and we would have to put in cabinets and all of that stuff but um it's not that large so the plan or what we were thinking was to take out this section of the wall here leave the arch here because we love the arch but take out this wall and then um make this a peninsula where you can put two bar stools and then cabinets on the bottom half here and then um yeah cabinets all along here we're gonna have to figure out how we're going to either drywall around that ductwork or something um and i really don't like that the fridge is this close to the end of it and if we take out this wall here um then we'll have to figure out where to put the fridge because it won't be a wall here anymore um and it can't fit over here but let me show you this is like a covered patio area again all of the junk will be removed this is outside um so it's not like protected as far as um the temperature but it is covered so it's protected from like just the elements and everything so it's a nice little outdoor space here and so that is the main level of the house Okay, you guys, so here we are in the back sunroom is what I'm going to call it. This was an addition that was put on the house well before we purchased it. And as you can see, it's in pretty bad condition. But this is like the first week that we purchased the property. And as you can see, Ronnie's already in there cleaning out the trash and, you know, just doing as much as we can to save us money. Um, we did as much demo and cleanup as we could before we got the contractors in there because we did not want to pay extra for those services. So this is kind of like an overview of that space and the before condition of it I can't wait till you guys see the after condition it looks like a totally different space and then next you guys we headed to our local floor and decor store just so that we can pick out a lot of the tile finishes um, and the flooring and the backsplash and all of those things for the bathrooms the kitchen the entire home um, floor and decor is like a super warehouse of all of those types of materials um, and so this is where we wanted to go we went in I'm sorry for the footage being a little um, bright I'm not sure what happened to my device but it does get better um, in a few seconds here but we went there and and we were just in love with how many towel options they had so we ended up you know narrowing down our options and I'll show you in a second what we decided on but our goal for this house too was to make it very modern but also a blank canvas so that whoever purchased it could envision themselves being in the space with their own furniture and their own you know style and vibe but we wanted to keep it modern so the clean whites and the grays were what we were leaning towards as far as the kitchen we decided that we were going to go with this back splash here and I'm also holding the paint chip for the walls which is classic silver I put that in my own home I love that color it's by bear and you can get it at Home Depot but this was the backsplash towel that we chose and then as far as the flooring throughout we chose a luxury vinyl and I wanted to um, um, pick something that would complement the classic silver bear paint color so here I am you know making sure that this was going to be our final choice and it came out beautifully 
And next up, we headed to our favorite store. You guys know what it is, Home Depot. We should own stock in this company. I swear we are there like multiple times a week for our own home, plus this investment property as well. But we had to pick out everything from toilets to light fixtures to doorknobs. You name it, we bought it from Home Depot. Okay, guys, so we're going in. You can see all of the debris from them taking down the drywall and all the wood paneling has been cleaned up. Like I said in a previous clip on Instagram, I'm not sure if I said it for YouTube, but um, there are hardwoods. They were hardwoods under the flooring that was here. So we're debating on whether we're going to um, refinish the hardwoods and then just add the luxury vinyl in the other areas. But this is what it's looking like after the first week. They are gonna take out this um, archway here. This wall beside the kitchen is coming down as well. Um, they have to gut the bathroom here and um yeah so hopefully this week they'll be starting on um re-drywalling all of this is going to come out or either they're going to re-drywall over it i'm not really sure um <clears throat> but yeah all of this is been done they had a lot of debris and stuff on the steps so they cleaned that off um in the basement they ripped out the basement they still have to take all the debris out the basement so i can't show you that because it's in the center of the floor um but they have to take that out and then they're going to totally reframe drywall insulate all of that stuff in the basement and then add a bathroom so they still have to gut the kitchen here um and then i think we're going to close up that window and then this window which was originally the front of the house before they added on the porch we're going to close this off as well so it'll only be these two windows here um one in the dining space and one in the living space um but yeah this is the progress so far um tomorrow we're supposed to be meeting them to buy drywall and materials um for them to start putting this space back together so we'll see stay tuned okay guys so that is june 28th and every time i move it gets blurry but just want to show you where we are with the house project. This is like the mud room area. They still have some work to do in here. I don't know what light is to what. I'm going to turn them all on. As you can see, the recess lights are in. Um, all of the powder room has been skimmed. Um, all the drywall has been sanded and stuff on this side over here. Okay, guys, so today is the 30th of June, and they have closed in the bathroom. That's going to be a door to the laundry. That's going to be a door to the bathroom. And they've drywalled. They haven't done the inside yet, but it looks really good in here. Um, the shower is going to be a nice size shower. We're going to do open shelving over here for like storage and stuff like that. And then there'll be a toilet here and then there'll be a 30 inch sink here with the mirror and the light will be above that. It's going to look so good. You guys, they put the do rock cement board for the shower. I think they have to do this side too, but. I don't know so there's more of it but it looks so good they got to do this side but they can't until i order the window which i need to order tonight because i keep forgetting to order that damn window um but yeah it looks good so they'll probably drywall and tape and mud not drywall tape and mud probably tomorrow and then we just dropped off all of the shower tiles they did i don't know where you put them let me see babe where'd you put the shower tiles I just Mommy, don't know which one. Yeah. Cool. In the uh, sunroom. All right, I'll tell you. Cool. So the shower tiles are upstairs, and then I went with white grout because everybody told me to switch to white grout. So, but it looks so good. It's a nice size bathroom. It's gonna look so good in here. Okay, guys. So we have some tile in the shower. And the other one, the other side is also gonna meet it, so it may cut down on seeing some of the gap. Cause the other side. And put the waterproofing stuff on the shower. And we have some, oh, 
sorry, babe. We have some um, herringbone pattern. We're doing on this side too, right? Yeah. That's what I was saying. Once those tiles get up against that, it'll cover up a little bit more of the gap. Uh, Y'all, Ronnie's saying that he picked out the herringbone pattern. Um, I could have sworn I was always going to do herringbone and it was just a matter of the grout, but he said he picked herringbone, so I didn't even know he knew what herringbone was. So I don't know if that's true, but they put the new window in the bathroom. It's looking good. No drywall all around. You know, do all that. But that's good, right? Yeah. And so the electrician also came today and did the disconnect box on the outside of the house for the new AC unit. And then as you can tell, they are drywalling going all the way up the stairs now. So the whole basement is going to be drywalled and done. So it looks really good. All the recessed lights are in. You told him, we told him about that door too. We're going to be replacing that, those makeshift doors. But you guys, I am thrilled about this shower. Okay, hey guys, so we just got to the investment property. Today is July 11th. They put the first coat of gray on the walls on the main level. And then guess what? We have new windows. The window installation company came. They replaced this window here, which is like a just a picture window in the um, powder room area. And then they also replaced this window here in the living room, which brightens it up a lot. Then we still have the um, six recess lights up in the ceilings as well and then um in the kitchen they put the first coat of gray on that looks really good they also um closed in the door because we're going to do a 24 inch door here and so so that the dishwasher will fit so they made that opening smaller to prepare for the door as well um but this gray is looking good in here babe it really is he's going to clean this window this window was functioning so we didn't replace this one um and then there's one in the basement that um we replaced two windows in the basement but the window installation company only replaced one of them and then our contractors replaced the one that's in the bathroom downstairs but i think upstairs has gotten its second coat of paint but you guys it looks so good in here ronnie turned on the recessed lights but they're still taped off because they're not finished painting like the ceiling and the walls um so you can't get the true effect of them but it looks so good in here you guys so good and it actually doesn't look that small anymore so let's go downstairs because ronnie said that they grouted the bathroom shower down here so let's come on down they also finished drywalling they did that a couple days ago though on friday i think um and then as you can see uh oh the windows have this window was replaced by the window company today so I guess they'll drywall all around that. It looks really good. That's a slider. And then our contractors replaced this window. We just got it from Home Depot. Um, this window here. They look the same. Though. Pretty much. It may be off by the sizing. But yeah, as you can see in here, they grouted the shower. It looks really good, but he has to clean the haze off of it now um because he hasn't done that yet but they did grout the shower that little hole you see is for the handheld like shower head thing and then the top hole is for the main shower there'll be a recessed let me see if it'll focus there'll be a recessed light in the shower um jesus christ this will not focus okay there'll be a recessed light in the shower right there on the ceiling this is going to be open shelving for just like storage and stuff like that um so that would be cute and then they did put in the exhaust fan as you can see uh, it's blurry but there it is there um the toilet will go here where you see that line coming from the vanity will go here and then the vanity light will go above it above the mirror and then obviously the power source to the bathroom will be here this is a really nice size shower 
Huh? And then this is the basement area. As you can see, they finished drywalling, so they still have the mud and tape it and everything. Uh, but all in all, I think this space is going to be good too. Once they put the flooring down, you'll definitely be able to see it and bring it out. And of course, once they put the gray on the walls, but I really think this is going to be an added bonus because this is like an extra like living space, right, babe? Yeah. So let me take you guys upstairs and we'll see what they did up there. I think they did the second coat on the bedroom level today. Um, they're going. We're going to get bifold doors here for this coat closet. Sorry about the blurriness, you guys. Every time I move, it's trying to stabilize itself. You guys, let me let it focus on something. Okay, sorry about the blurriness, but we are going to get bifold doors for this closet here. So they've kind of framed it for the right size. All of the flooring will be changed to um, luxury plank vinyl. But let me go upstairs and show you what's going on here. I gotta be careful because I keep stepping in whatever they leave on the ground and it gets on the bottom of my shoes. All right, so this bathroom. This window was not changed. We have to wait two more weeks for this window because according to code, it has to be a tempered glass window since it's in the shower and that's a special order. So they haven't taken out the toilet yet. They did take out the sink. They took out all of the tile that was around. And so now they have to um, wait for the window to be done. We're gonna reglaze the tub and the shower tile. And then we'll put in a new vanity, a new toilet, new flooring, and new fixtures as well you know light fixture all of that stuff in here but it's gonna be really really nice you guys i'm excited about that um these rooms are looking really really good he still has to touch up a few places in here but they're looking good this is looking good ronnie's gonna clean all these windows because we didn't have to replace these they're still functioning places i see they went through one five gallon bucket of white paint for the ceiling already yeah, hmm yeah, I, I see them getting that stuff off the floor because we're going to put down luxury vinyl they're getting down all the carpet tacks as you can see they yeah, did the first coat oh okay I said, I um, they put the first coat on but they had to touch up some spaces and as you can see like these drips are like the tobacco from the cigarettes they said that she like constantly smoked uh, so it's going to be a lot of primer and stuff, but they pulled up all the carpet tacks. This is the master bedroom. We were able to salvage um, all of the windows. We just need to clean them. Um, as you guys can see, they just need to be cleaned. They put the first coat on and the stand back. So you can see they did the walls, only the first coat. So once the second coat goes on, it'll even everything off. Then they're gonna be putting in the floors. You guys, I cannot wait till the floors go in. That's probably gonna be my favorite part. That and the, right, you just stepped in all of that white paint. You stepped directly into it, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I can't wait until the floors go in and then also the um, appliances will probably be my favorite too because that's like a finishing touch. But so far, so good. July 11th, you guys, this is where we are with the project. And I believe we started in May, sometime in May. So, yeah. It's looking good, guys. It's looking really good. Okay, guys, so it's July 12th. It's dark in here because they still have the um, recess lights taped off. But as you can see, we have flooring on the first level. This is the flooring we went with. It's luxury waterproof vinyl. It still needs to be mopped and cleaned. They still need to do baseboards and port around and all that stuff. And it looks really good. They did the kitchen, so hopefully they'll be um, coming to get the appliances um, tomorrow or the next day to put in here. You can't really see, but the kitchen is all done. This is gonna be a floor register. And then we didn't replace all of the windows. Some of them we thought were salvageable. So Ronnie is testing to see if all the gook on this window will come off. He said it's wiping off. We're using um, the pink stuff. Show the bottom of it. Yeah. I got this from Ross, but you can get it for, on Amazon too. It also comes as a paste. I've seen that at Home Depot, but everybody rants and raves about it. So when I saw it, I grabbed it for our house and he's just wiping it off. As you can see in the windows coming back white.
Okay, you guys, and on this particular day, our appliances were going in. I was so excited to see this, you guys. It was meant that the kitchen was taking shape and this project was finally coming to an end very soon. It looked so good once they got the cabinets in and the appliances, you guys. I promise you, you're going to be stunned. Okay, guys, so it is, what's today? July 30th, 2022. Uh, we just got in from a road trip and we wanted to check on the house progress. We see that we do have flooring in the covered um, um, porch patio area or porch area. We also have new windows looking good. And then of course we have a new, uh -oh, a new light fixture there. Looks good. That'll be a smoke detector. Um, they have painted in here. So that looks pretty good. We also purchased a new um, second front door. This is the first front door that was already new. Um, so it just needs to be cleaned and painted. And then we went ahead and told them to get us a new door for right here because the other one was really, really old and just not good. So they're gonna finish drywalling and doing all that stuff. So that's good. And then in here, this light used to work, but let me see if it still works. The electricity is off because the electrician is coming back tomorrow to finish some stuff. But the only thing that needs to be put up in here is the toilet tissue holder and then also the towel rack. And I'm going to pick up the mirrors. I've already ordered them for all the bathrooms. But as you guys can see, we have the wall mounted. Um, what is this? Vanity. We have the new. Uh oh. The new dual flush toilet here already. So that's good. And then we have a new toilet line as well because the we had to have the plumber come and do that. In here, we have new windows. All the painting is done. All the flooring is done. The trim molding and the quarter round, all that stuff is done. Uh, we have the recessed lights up at the top already. We have the chandelier in here. Um, it needs more bulbs, so we're going to go get some more bulbs. Um, thermostat is back on the wall. We have the Nest thermostat, as you guys can see. Can y'all see that? Let me see. There we go, the Nest thermostat. And then they did pick up some cabinets for us. Um, I'm in search of one more cabinet for the kitchen. Um, the sink cabinet is here. And then they have also, let me show you guys, started drywall in this covered um, back patio sunroom area as well. So. We're going to have them um, put down new flooring and then, yeah, finish the drywall and paint and stuff in here. And then what else? This is a, a sink base cabinet. That is a Lazy Susan cabinet over there. So, uh-oh. Let me see, we just have to get one more cabinet. This is the dishwasher and the sliding range made it as well. So that's good. Let me go upstairs now. They still have to put the bifold closet doors up. They do have them, but um, they just have to put it up. Let me, here we go. So they just have to put the closet doors up on that. And then they have put the steps in. They just gotta put the um, blue nose on the steps. Looks really good. I see they painted this vent work. We wanted them to paint that, so that looks good. In the bedrooms, they have put up the lights, they finished all the painting, we still need to clean the windows because we didn't, um, we kept some of the windows because they were in good shape, they just need to be cleaned. So they finished all the painting in here, the flooring is done, um, they painted all the closet doors and everything in here, so that looks good. Here, it looks really good. The same light fixture in the second bedroom came from Amazon, we just need to get light bulbs, new flooring, paint, and um, baseboards in here. The windows need to be cleaned. Then in the master, they have the light up. I've ordered the special bulbs that go in here. They still have the, they have to clean the paint off the floor. They still have the bulb like covers that go in here. So we'll have to get those, I don't know where to put them. But they painted all the doors and all of that stuff I see. I gotta ask them where they put the, um, oh, here they are. These are the bulbs. 
They look really, really pretty. So those will go on that light. This room has two closets and painted the doors. Um, and I'll tell them to fill those holes there. Uh, but yeah, it looks really, really good in here. Really impressed. We just need to clean the windows again. Looks really good. Um, we do need light switch covers, so we'll go to Home Depot and get some more of those. Guys, it is August the 5th, and they are painting the exterior today. Yay! Wow! Put down all the You see, there it goes. Okay, you guys, so I'm reminding you of what the before looked like, and here is the after.
you guys. And now that you have seen the before and after, I hope you are as impressed as we were with ourselves. I wanted to let you know quickly before we go that we actually sold the property on November 16, 2022. We sold it for $385,000 with also a $10,000 seller credit. So basically it was $395,000. Now, once you did the math and you subtracted out all of the money that we spent on renovations and labor costs and carrying costs, that's the cost of the mortgage and all the utilities and insurance and all of those things for the months that we did own the property during this renovation period we pretty much broke even um, with this project and we were not mad at all we learned a lot like I said we definitely learned which contractors to use which contractors not to use um, which big box stores to use which big box stores not to use and different services and things like that that came in handy so now when we do the next one we'll already have all that legwork done and we can hit the ground running maybe do it a little faster and hopefully you guys the market will be better because we put this one on the market right when it started to turn for the worse and it just wasn't great timing as far as resale but like I said we didn't lose money so it was a win in our book and we learned so much invaluable information through this experience that the next time it will be 10 times easier and hopefully the property won't need as much work because being honest everything that could have went wrong with this property went wrong with this property it was not well maintained the previous owner did not um, maintain it that well in our opinion and everything all the major appliances and um Everything in the house needed to be replaced. And so you can understand how our budget had to be increased and increased and increased because we had to replace everything because we did not feel comfortable reselling a property that was not up to our standards. So going forth. The next time we will have already, you know, put in all this legwork, we will know who to work with, who not to work with, and we have a better gauge of what things will cost. So until next time, you guys, I will talk to you later. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. I'm sorry the video took so long and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.